Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a pretty quick Walmart spring haul. I found so many cute new arrivals that I know are gonna sell out. I don't normally post on Tuesdays, but I did not wanna wait to film this and post on Sunday, my normal upload day, because I don't think a lot of these things are gonna make it until Sunday, honestly. So just wanted to get this video up as fast as I could. Everything is super cute. I know you'll love it. All right, starting off with this adorable white eyelet dress. This is one that I know is going to sell out. I think it comes in three colors. Runs true to size. I'm wearing a size small. It does have a more conservative length. The little scalloping on the bottom hits right above my knee. The smocking sits really nicely. I have a short waist, so sometimes smocking can just hit at the wrong spot and not be flattering. Um, I would say this one's almost a little too long, but it's sitting really flattering on my hips. And then I love the strap detail. I am wearing a strapless bra, but I do think you could wear one with a regular strap if you kind of tucked it under here. It has a really good shoulder length. I don't, sometimes I feel like I have to pull things down really low to have the strap sit nicely, but this one fits really well and it still comes up like a little bit higher, which I personally like. I do not like when smocking sits on the chest because it just creates a shelf and it's, I just don't find it flattering. So I do like where this one hits and it has a squared off neckline. I also do appreciate that this dress is lined underneath. The liner stops, I would say, right where this third tier stops. So then you still see that eyelet detail all the way around. Super cute and flattering. I definitely know this one will sell out. All right, next is this asymmetrical shirt dress. I got the blue and white print. I really like the fit in the top. I'm wearing a size small and it fits perfectly in the shoulders. Functional buttons, so it is nursing friendly and I really like this asymmetrical tie detail. So it's kind of attached a little bit higher up on the arm. The only thing I'll mention with that is it does feel a little bit more restrictive over here, but not enough to make me feel claustrophobic. And the hemline on the bottom is also asymmetrical as well. So it's a little bit shorter in the front and rounded. And then the back's a little bit longer with a straight edge hemline at the bottom. I like this is just a very classic kind of coastal grandmother inspired piece. If that is your style or if you just want like easygoing pieces for, I would say more of your later spring into summer wardrobe. I could even see myself wearing this like with my hair up in a ponytail and some white sneakers or you can even make it work for 4th of July if you wanted to add like some red accessories. I know I'm getting way ahead of myself talking about that, but I just love blue and white for the summertime. So if you are a teacher, the only thing I will mention again is it does feel a little more restrictive in the arms. So if you had to reach up really high to write on the chalkboard, it may feel restrictive or you may want to size up just to have a little more room. I also wanted to show you all these gold sandals. I thought they were a good look for less to this brand. These run about $3.50. Um, they're, I, they're one of my favorite shoes, honestly. But if you don't want to spend the money on them and you want a flat option, I thought these would be really cute. And I will say they're very flattering on the foot as well. The knot sits a little bit lower on the top of the foot. And I just found them really flattering. I think the toe shape was really flattering as well. I do feel like the top of the foot is a little more shallow. So I just wanted to note on that. I have a very like skinny bony foot, so I didn't have any issues, but if you do have a wider foot or just a little more cushion or if your feet are swollen, these may not work for you or I would recommend a size up. All right, next is a top version to the last dress I shared and I love the fit and just all the little details about this. So I love the little kind of peplum detail. It's a faux wrap style. It has a cute little button here. I love that they added the little button here to keep it nice and secure. And I also really like that the sleeves are a puff detail, but they're longer. So it feels very flattering and comfortable. Sometimes if puff sleeves are too short, it's just not as flattering. Hold on. The lighting keeps changing because it's very sunny day. Anyway, I am wearing a size small. I paired it with my Go to white jeans and I paired it with kind of like a cropped flare white jean and then these sandals. I'm going to talk more about these in my try on haul. I think I'm going to post a kind of part two to my Target spring haul with all of their new clothing arrivals. 
these sandals are pretty much an exact dupe to the sandal that was in the Nordstrom sale last summer. They're so comfortable, come in multiple colors. I did size up a half size in mine. So if you're looking for like an everyday go-to heeled sandal for a wedding, spring and summer, and even into fall, I highly recommend these. All right, something I wanted to quickly mention to you about the last two items and then this top as well, they're all 100% cotton. So I just kind of wanted to point that out because I feel like sometimes if you think Walmart try-on haul or like something more affordable, you may just think everything is synthetic materials, but this line at Walmart is made more sustainably and they use like 100% cotton. Um, so just something I kind of wanted to point out in case you didn't know. But I love the fit of this top. I kept on the same white jeans. And I feel like this is just going to be one that I reach for over and over again. It's just very relaxed. I love the blue and white. And then it has a very soft powder blue outline to it. I'm wearing a size small. Fits very true to size. And then here is those gold sandals. So you can see how they look on the foot. All right, next is this short sleeve sweatshirt. And I thought this would be a good transitional piece because it is a little bit of a thicker material through here and then a little bit thinner on the sleeve section. I am wearing a small and it does have some good length to it. So I just kind of rolled mine under to make it look tucked in here. I honestly just kept on the same jeans and the gold because I love pink, white, and gold. Definitely one of my favorite combos. Um, but they also make a dress version to this as well. All right, next is this kind of ruffled t-shirt dress. And I sized down to this to an extra small and it's still pretty roomy, surprisingly. So definitely runs big. I would recommend a size down. I could have even sized down another size if they offered it in a smaller size. Um, it does kind of look like a nightgown to me. It's a little bit on the thinner side. I could see myself just kind of wearing this around the house. If I want to feel more put together, like out of my pajamas, but still be really comfortable because it is a really soft t-shirt type of material. Um, I think if you wanted to kind of dress it up for out of the house, it'd be cute if you belted it because I do feel a little lost shape wise in it. So if you added a belt and then you could even throw over like an oversized denim jacket for the spring season. Right, next is this flowy sweater skirt. It's a really lightweight sweater material. So again, a good transitional piece. I styled it here for like a cozy Valentine look. I love the pink and white. And this is a really cute like bubblegum pink color. I will say when I first put this on, I was like, this is not doing me any favors. So I almost didn't share it, but um, I wanted to make it work for me. So I paired it with an oversized, more crop sweater. And the reason I would keep it personally oversized for me is because I don't like this waistband. So it's a thick elastic waistband, which for me with my torso, it's shorter. I never like waistbands like this because what happens is it just puckers my hip right here. And honestly above too. It's like where my bra is. So it's like just creating rolls that I don't necessarily want. So I personally wouldn't pair it with anything fitted, but it does totally work with this and it is comfortable. Um, and I also think it'd be really cute if you are styling a bump right now, because when I pulled it up, cause I was trying to figure out where to place it on my body. Um, cause a little bit lower wasn't working, which is normally a trick that I do. Sometimes if I, if it's thick enough, I can place it lower and it actually smooths out that area. But when I pulled it up, I was like, now it's just giving me like bump style vibes. <laughs> so I do think it'd be really cute with a bump if you have one. So I almost gave up on the skirt, but honestly, I do like it with this chunkier sweater over top. And I just paired it with some boots. As it got warmer into summer, you could pair it with a little sandal because it's a very comfortable lightweight material. Right, next is this floral dress. It has pinks, blues, and yellows. Honestly, it's kind of giving me like Lily Pulitzer vibes just because it's a very fun, happy print. This may shock y'all, but I don't think I've ever owned anything clothing wise from Lily Pulitzer. I did use their planner and I had like a phone case one year, but I've never actually bought any clothing from there. But this just 
reminds me of that because it's just a very fun and happy print. I do need to adjust the straps a little bit. They are adjustable. I'm wearing a size small. It fits great. If you're in between, I would recommend to go down. It does have pockets and it's just a very flowy, lightweight kind of material. If you live somewhere warm, obviously you can wear this now, um, but definitely more of like a summer type of piece. Really quick before I share this dress, I wanted to mention that one of my goals for this year is to actually venture out of my comfort zone a little bit more with my wardrobe as far as colors. So I just want to explore more color in my wardrobe. We'll see how that goes because I am so drawn to neutrals and my soft pastel colors because I do think that's what looks best on me, but I feel like it's kind of boxed me in and I just kind of want to explore and see like what else I may like. Just try some new things, I guess. Um, so I just wanted to quickly share that in case you are looking for kind of different goals for your own 2023, or if you have any good goals, let me know down in the comments below. So I grabbed this dress cause I thought it would be a really cute, affordable Valentine's dress. And I'm really glad that it's shorter in the front. Cause that definitely would have made it or break how flattering this dress is with a shorter hemline. I feel like it's much more flattering than it could have been. It's really flowy. So there's a lot of material. So it is definitely longer in the back. I really like this halter neckline. This is another neckline that I want to try a little bit more in the new year. I typically don't like sleeveless, but I feel like this type of neckline I really enjoy. So I want to play with that a little bit more. And then it does tie into a really big bow in the back, which of course I love. Obviously if you're wearing this for Valentine's day, I would just recommend to bundle up with like a super warm coat over top. You could also do a tight with a heel as well for some extra warmth. Um, this one definitely runs a little bit big. So if you're in between, I would recommend to size down. Sizing is pretty forgiving because this just adjusts based on how tight you tie it. And then this has plenty of room. So yeah, I could have definitely sized down. That's all I have to share from now from Walmart, but I will link some recent finds down in the description box. I have them linked over in the LTK app. I have a couple more things that I ordered that haven't arrived yet, but I just wanted to take no chances and get these pieces out to y'all because I think they will sell out. Um, but I will see you on Thursday and I know I'll be back on Sunday with a Target haul. So hope you'll have a good week.